welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. Today we are going on with this beautiful collection of stories about Tom Dorans from this gorgeous book, More Than a Horseman. And the stories were collected by his wife, Margaret Dorans and John St. Ryan. Today's story is a short one by Doug Jordan. Tom Dorans was a true gentleman. I remember clearly how he always had a way that got you to think deeply about what he was saying. He was a very humble man who didn't put himself above anyone else. The first time I saw him work with a horse, I had flown to California to watch him start some colts for the wards. I watched mostly, but the first day, I was handed a halter to catch a young colt in a long, narrow run. After a little bit, I was still unsuccessful at catching the colt. Tom came over to help. With two flags, one in each hand, he prepared the colt in less than 20 seconds to stand while he positioned those two flags just right and said, OK, Doug, I think he's ready for you to put that halter on. So I stepped in front of the flags and the colt stood perfectly still while I slipped the halter on him. That has stuck with me. The 15 or 20 seconds he took to prepare that colt, I will remember that the rest of my life. His words and actions will always be a part of who I am now and what I strive to be, a better horseman. I was only able to work with Tom half a dozen times, but the things he showed me and the things we visited about are still with me today. Nearly 20 years of experience later, I'm still, just now, finding the meaning of some of those things we discussed. I'm sure if I'm able to ride until I'm 100 years old, I will be saying, that's what Tom was talking about. Tom said in his book, this is something I've had to develop in myself, for myself, by myself. The true unity and willing communication between the horse and me is not something that can be handed to someone. It has to be learned. It has to come from the inside of a person and the inside of a horse. Because of Tom and who he was, and as a horseman, I am learning to be the man and horseman God, my creator, would want me to be. Beautiful. And that mentions there um, Tom's other book, True Unity, which is another joy. So thank you for joining me today. Keep tuning into the light and I look forward to see you next time. Mm -hmm.